Hello and welcome back. I want to go over the current lineup of DIY Packraft fabrics today. And um, we'll start with the ultralight fabrics. These are the different colors. This is 115 grams per square meter, approximately. It's a ripstop grid pattern with TPU, that's the heat sealable plastic coating, on one side and exposed fabric on the other. And um, this is what I used to make the ultralight DIY pack wrapped kits, as well as the inflation bags in the standard weight kits. And the fabric is quite strong. I don't think I can just rip it like this. <clears throat> no, but let's see if I get it started. If I get it started, I'm sure I can rip it. Yeah, it's not too difficult to, once it's already started, you can, you can get it to go, but um, puncturing it and tearing it when it's all assembled is not easy. This is a screwdriver that's, it's not super sharp, but it's a steel pokey thing, and it takes quite a bit of force to, to get it to go through. So that comes in the yellow, red, blue, and these are really vivid colors, uh, and then black, and then also the same fabric, but coated on both sides with TPU. And that's what I used to make the DIY Packraft floors in the ultralight model so that it's protected on both sides. And it's the same fabric, just coated on both sides instead of one side. It's very slippery. Hitting sticks and things, it's, you know, I, I don't recommend that with the ultralight kits, but it will take a surprising amount of abuse for how thin and light this fabric is. I mean, it's it's remarkably light, but still reasonably safe. I've had two people in one of these ultralight boats. I've taken them down rivers and scraped along some sticks and things, and no guarantees, but I haven't had a problem. And next, let's look at the standard weight DIY pack raft fabrics. It comes in these six colors. That's the current lineup for 2024. This is the green TPU side and fabric side. These are approximately 270 grams per square meter. TPU side and fabric side. TPU side, fabric side. You can see that they're slightly translucent. TPU side, fabric, and that's the TPU, and that's the woven fabric. And these are very strong. Uh, I already know that I can't rip it doing that, but if I get a tear started, I'm sure I can... You have to get the right angle on it. And it'll go. But it's uh, it's pretty strong. You can rub on it pretty good with that steel and there's no permanent mark there. And that's pinching it between the, the steel and the MDF table that, with a piece of paper on top of it. So, pretty tough. Tough and light, and flexible, and packable. Let's try to puncture this without knocking over the camera. All right. Ah! <sighs> 
I'm trying as hard as I can. So, trying as hard as I can, I can't push the screwdriver through. Yeah. So, quite puncture resistant, I would say. <clears throat> nope. I'm just going to hurt myself if I keep trying that. And all of the standard weight DIY pack wrapped kits are made out of these fabrics. The outside of the tubes is going to be this TPU coating, and on the inside is the uncoated side. And finally, we have the standard weight floor fabric. This is the floor material on all the regular DIY pack wrap kits. Uh, heavy duty fabric, it's about 450 grams per square meter and it's coated on both sides with TPU. Again, it's really tough. I'm pressing almost as hard as I can and if I go over that spot enough, I can can damage it but uh, it's good and tough and that's just on the outer surface it's not actually damaging the, the woven fabric or or getting through to the other side you know if you really treat it badly you will damage it but um, the object of of these kits is to be nice and light so that when you're carrying them it's not a real pain so they're not going to be bomb proof but they can hold up to quite a lot. And I already know that I can't just tear this fabric, but if I get it started again with a nice sharp cut there, I can, I can get it to, to go if I try hard enough. Let's try the other direction too. There we go. So it will rip if you get it get it started, but getting it started is the hard part. I can't I can't push this screwdriver through it. It's hard to film this at the same time. I'm trying as hard as I can, and I can't push the screwdriver through. It's not even really making a mark, it's just sort of stretched it a little bit. So, it's uh, more than strong enough for most things that you're going to encounter. Um, if you pinch it between two hard things, got to hammer it pretty hard to get a hole, but you can get a hole through it. It's not, as I say, it's not indestructible, but as I also say, it's a compromise between strength and weight, and it's stronger than you'll need in almost every situation. So that's a quick look at the current lineup of fabrics here at DIY Packraft, and I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.